Hello, everyone. I'm Liu Chan coming from Story Team of OPPO, and uh, I'm the maintainer of QFS project. Uh, it's my great honor to introduce QFS today. QFS went open source in March 2019. A release version 1.0 at uh, April. At the end of 2019, we joined CNS CNCF Sandbox. In 2020, we updated several times and supported diverse interfaces, including S3 and FDFIs. In 2021, released version 2.4, which enhanced the stability. At the beginning of this year, we released version 3 which is a significant release, support a usual code repo to reduce the cost in the scenarios as Ditrick. And it already be online for one year in our private storage platform. We are honored that the KubeFS became an incubation project in June. And in August, we will release the version, we, we already released the version uh, 3.1 which support hybrid cloud acceleration and QS flow control components. In terms of open source community growth, we compared the date before uh, and after joining the sandbox. The increasing numbers indicate that QBIS uh, increased in practical applications. Many software engineers are willing to join and contribute to the project, and many end users likely to make tests or use the in production environment. In the field of storage, some technical changes are commonly acknowledged to abstract practical applications. For example, we have to deal with files from TB to TB. What's more, it's hard to use read write patterns sequentially or randomly. Of course, there are many more difficulties than this. This on the beam point, beam point of method management mentioned before. QBFIS provides an extensible method system. Bell and load storage is segmented by region and the performance is fully persistent in memory. Setup short and route pipelines in, ensure strong consistency between method copies. The figure shows the management organization of the shares in the method. The B tree is used to manage the entry and I node. And the features such as copy on write are implemented, which is convenient for operations such as modifications, which make snapshot persistence. The entire index design is relatively sophisticated. Compared with the products of France, this design can better solve the problem of scalability and strong consistency. We will talk about supporting multiple version literature and it's mainly implemented in this two trees. One is for the entry and another is for NOS. QFIS is optimized for small files. So storing small files centrally in storage nodes to stream merging the small files to one big file, which can improve the throw output and performance, especially for HDD, HDD disk. It utilizes the pound-hole interface of Linux to synchronously free the disk space occupied by the deleted small files, which greatly simplifies the engineering work of dealing with the small file deletions. This page is the QFIS performance comparison. From the comparison of the figure, we can see that sequential read and uh, write of the large files in the same as, is the same as size. And the random read and write performance 
is better. This is due to the following reasons. First, each MDI site only catches a portion of the file metadata in its memory. In the case of random read, the catamate rate can be increasingly dramatically as the number of the process increases, causing frequent disk input output. In contrast, each metadata node of QBFS catches all the film file metadata in memory to avoid the expensive disk I/O input output. Second, the overwrite in QBFS is in place. This does not need to update the file metadata. In contrast, the overwrite in SAF usually need to walk through multiple queens and only after the date and the method has been processed and synchronized, the commit message can be returned to the client. Kubernetes stores all file magic in memory to avoid the expensive disk input output during file read. And in the case of small file read, right, the Kubernetes client does not need to ask the resource manager for new extensions. Instead, it sends to uh, the write request to the data node directory, which further reduces the network over highs. The above talk is about the QFS feature before OPPO joined. So now let's talk about the user case in OPPO and the improvement. OPPO is a consumer electronics and mobile communication company, which have more than 20,000 engineers. We put QFS in three parts in practical AI platform, data lake, and Spark remote shuffle service. In AI platform, as the underlying storage of AI platform, QFS solves, solves a series of pain points such as massive small files, storage, millions of directories, and hard data access in machine learning scenarios. It stores various of regions. Of, of, uh, various original, original um, copra and model data during interface and training. Supports advertising games, recommendations, CV image processing, and other online business. In the data lake, there are many problems should be solved. Uh, the main problem is about HDFIs. The method subsystem name node has limited limited the scalability and the disk scale of the singles, single cluster is limited. Second is the storage and the computing are integrated and the operability is poor. Second is, is poor cluster stability. Four is, is high storage cost and not friendly to uh, small files. OPPO use QFS to replace ADFIs. QBFS is friendly to both large and small files and, and supports multiple um, multi tenant resolution and uh, greatly improve stability. The data scale of a single cluster reaches each level, and the individual code engine can reduce the storage costs. In Spark Remote Shuffle Service, uh, the native shuffle is strongly bound to the local disk. QFS decouples the dependency of local storage uh, resources and gives full play to the elastic uh, advantages of distributed storage. This page is a case study of data lake solutions. First, we need to know what is data lake. A data lake is a centralized repository that allows you to store all your structured and unstructured data in, at any scale. But you can store your data as is without having to first structure the data and run different types of analytics from dashboards and visualizations to big data processing real-time analytics and machine learning to get better decisions. Just about this link, we what's the requirements uh, for QBFIs? First is we need to provide, provide ETFIs interface capabilities. Second is usual code storage to reduce cost. Three is client local cache for performance. 
Both is domain failure to enhance reliabilities of massive data scenarios. Fifth is Q QS flow control. Now QFS has uh, improves all the provides pro pro all the capabilities. Let's look into the solution for part of the requirements. As, uh, as can be seen from the picture, QBIS has uh, three interfaces for capabilities, ETLS, horses compatible, and S3. OPPO developed the interface ETLS and use it in our production environment. All the interfaces are built on top of the kernel SDK, which includes uh, features such as uh, cache capability and stream data processing for high performance. Let's move to user coding subsystems. Uh, this is a significant subsystem of QBFIs. The left figure shows the components of the raw individual coding subsystem and the flow of data. The red figure shows the distribution of data in different AZ and EC modes. Uh, to be specific, we can use Reed Solomon codes 33, which contains three uh, data fragments and three code fragments. All fragments are stored, stored on different storage node and a single AZ. We can also use RS104, which has higher durabilities and a lower cost, and can be used after configuration. We use RS610 and RS159, respectively under 2AZ and 3AZ. All fragments are evenly stored on different nodes, on in different AZ. On this occasion, we all, when all fragments of one AZ is entirely lost, we can still recover the data from the fragment of another AZ. Additionally, we implement local reconstruction code, LRC, with reference to a paper, original coding in Windows Azure storage. LRC enable us to reconstruct offline data fragments with less original coding fragments. The most important benefit of LRC is that it reduces bandwidth and IO input output requires required for data recovery so as to maintain a significantly lower storage or high. Error coding subsystems have five advantages, large cluster capability, high durability, lower TCO reduce redundancy from 3 to 1.3 or less for multi-AZ deployment while multiple specification configurable initial coding model. Of course, Cuba has directly used online EC. This avoids data migration and save storage space. Let's talk about its architecture. It includes four subsystems, client, cluster management, data subsystem, and the date and the date. We made some improvements mainly in the subsystem when updating it from the second version to third version. For example, we added a user code. It's generally speaking, they, they are all the main trees of this updating of architecture. Firstly, now Cubify contains lower cost user code and then it is compatible with the former versions and support smooth update to version 3. Finally, volume includes duplication volume and a usual code volume. We made many optimizations to a usual code coding subsystem under the condition of a usual code, code, code is recoverable. Certain write failures are allowed and background asynchronous patching is performed for the failed data blocks. Through this quorum mechanism, the problem of the tail support can be effectively uh, resolved. For small files, uh, using space cost to replace time cost, 
Introducing redundant data blocks for EC encoding can effectively reduce the number of input output and improves read performance. That's a tiny uh, file storage of replica subsystem. Uh, the original coding subsystem uses the sparse semantics of file system and reclaim space and avoid a large amount of data location introduced by asynchronous compact during garbage collection. Multi-copy implement is simple. Data durability is average. Results utilization is low and the storage cost is high. Usual code are more complex to implement with higher data durability, higher resource utilization, and lower storage cost. Comprehensively evaluated redundancy strategies for multiple dimensions, such as business data scale, access model durability, and cost requirements. Taking OPPO mobile phone cloud app business as an example, it supports hundreds of millions of users to access. And the data volume is large, and the cost of demand is strong. At the present, a lower cost error coding engine have, has fee, been fully used in OPPO. Next, I want to introduce the hybrid cloud acceleration section. Hybrid cloud uh, AI training scenarios, that is, most of the GPU computing com power is in self-built cloud machine room, and a small part of the computing power will be used by public cloud GPU. When the self-built cloud GPU resources can't meet the user's sudden computer power needs, the task can be dramatically scheduled to public cloud. The advantage of this scheme is that the number of the self-built cloud the GPUs can be controlled, which can only meet the user's normal training needs, but also meets the user's sudden incremental needs. The self-built uh, cloud only needs to maintain a normal computing power level, which can effectively reduce the overall TCO. However, this brings brings new challenges to underlying storage. In the hybrid cloud scenario, we often face challenges of data transmission and storage between public cloud and private cloud. Uh, first is performance problem in storage during cross-regional. Due to the network bandwidth delay, nearly two microseconds, the excess storage performance of the public cloud GPU host drops dramatically. Compared with open private cloud GPU host accessing storage, samples processed by single GPU card per epoch are four to uh, nearly two to four uh, times different. The L bottleneck leads to low GPU card utilization which is a great waste of task training time and GPU resources. Second is high cost of data migration. At the initial stage, the task pool is dispatched to public cloud GPU, which mount the public cloud file storage, requiring users to migrate the kubefast state to Opal Cloud to the public cloud storage, which is a high cost for users. Three is the data security issue on public, on public cloud. A catch acceleration mechanism is designed on the client side to achieve local caching, pull remote training data close to GPU computing nodes, reduce the kubefast metadata latency to microsecond level and reduce the data latency to 100 microsecond level. This page is the details of how the design and the deployment the cache. First, the picture below is the deployment architecture. The data acceleration mode is deployed in the public cloud GPU host in the demon side, site mode. The cache disk is mounted to task port and the block cache port is on in the way of host pass. To reduce the request uniform storage provided uh, cloud, 
there are two types of request. First is method, second is date. So we build the mechanism to catch both of them. First, it's need to adapt the flexibility flexibly to different types of training tasks. If the catch expiration time is set too long, the memory can't be released in time. If it is set too short, the catch hit rate will be affected. Then second, need to consider the scope of catching. Based on the specified directory, build the catch of the entry and inode so as to manage the cache scope and life cycle most flexibly. The red picture is the architecture of inner components of cache acceleration for match cache cached in the memory of the kubefs claim and cache inodes and the entry method. For that for this catch has two key factors. First is uh, build data catch service, need to consider the resource limitation and the generality. Uh, second, need to build index management and data management. Therefore, the data skill model block catch is designed as a lightweight service module, which mainly uh, provides three functions catch, read write function, catch data index management, and catch disk space management. The picture is about the test comparison result. It can be seen uh, from the date in the finger that after the public cloud GPU starts the kubeff climb to accelerate the performance distribution of uh, resent 18 in dash border worker 116 increase by 360 and 114. Alex Knight increase by 130 and 80, respectively, at work, 16 and 24. The effect is very obvious compared with operate pre-read cloud GPU exercise. It's, it also increased by uh, 12 to 27% with significant, with significant benefits. The catch hit read has a very important impact on the overall, overall performance. Also, the catch disk cap capacity of, the, of a single GPU host is limited. It is limited by the number of GPU cards and GPU resources of a single machine, and the number of the training tasks running at the same time is not large. The, the catch hit rate is basically stable at a high level. When uh, this page is about the QIs, when designing QIs, uh, two aspects are mainly considered. So first is the maintainability of the system, and second is to consider the characteristics of the flow control requirement of the file system itself. Therefore, in our implementation, there is no dependency on external module. And there are mainly two modifications. One is flow control module of client, and the other is global flow distribution management module of master. So per per periodic client reporting and traffic request, master supports allocations and do more prior allocations for, of buffer for clients. We try to reduce the interaction between the client and master as more as possible in case of scenario that master needs about 10,000 of clients. For customers who has not request for a long time, uh, it expands the power of the obtaining traffic from the master to reduce interactions. In the uh, storage opus AI training platform, the, the characteristic of the QBFS meets the storage characteristics of data required for AI training, especially supports the mass storage of small files, which solves the pain point of MADI storage. At the same time, in the multi-user platform of AI training, so amount of thousands of people may operate the same batch of data. 
for example, the data security and the, uh, historical recovery have become a demand point, which is also the data storage demand of the Oppo hardware too. Therefore, Cubas became uh, began began uh, to design features to support snapshot in Oppo, and this feature will also become a classical competitive relative to a similar uh, system. It can be seen from the finger that different colors represent different versions, and different colors of client reply represent the, the version to read. Only the newest version can read and write. At the same time, multiple versions of the message are stored in meta. The color block diagram of the did not reflect version's ownership, but there's no need to identify the version in did not and the version is controlled by match. It has several nice uh, features. First is create snapshots in seconds. Uh, second is no like snapshot version reads. Three is no write amplification. Fourth is my date, date without space redundancy. Five is strong consistency. This feature is the index design inside of match. As mentioned earlier, the index of match in, is stored by B3. The picture shows the measurement relationship of different version. Information inside the file. We will build the index according to the time order of the versions and reading any versions can get the complete storage shared information. Snapshot is a complex function. For example, uh, case one, when multiple components are involved to uh, implement a snapshot operation, almost all key inter internal routines need to be updated. Case two is the snapshot deletion scenarios involves uh, visibility range judgment and operation nodes and entries. Case three, the problem of excessive fragmentation of the data caused by the modification of data fragmentation. And the problem with the op op optimization and the combination. Case four is uh, uh, we need to guarantee that the consistency between the client cache and my data. And all the nodes. Okay, next page, we will talk about the remote shuffle solutions. The technical evolution in big data computing engine has always been inspirable from the optimization of shuffle. Whether it is optimization of execution planes of all the shuffle operations as much as possible. All the evolution of various shuffle mechanisms, it is all to shorten the time consuming of shuffle as much as possible. There are two main factors for shuffle to become the key factors for the efficiency and the stability, stability of big data computing. One is fragmentary and write of disk spill rise to disk multiple times and reduce only two parts of the partition date, which affects the efficiency. Second, reduce read local date on max side, which requires a uh, map re remote network reads, which affect stability. With the evolution of shuffle technology, the main line is also advancing along the solutions of the above two problems. For example, Remote shuffle service, the principle of remote shuffle service is that the map task pushes the same partition date to the remote, remote shuffle service and the remote shuffle merges the date of the same partition. Shuffle uses a distributed file system as a storage base. Today, when distributed storage technology is so developed, we don't need to spend too much effort optimi optimizing uh, storage. Professional things are handed over to professional people. The main advantage of Cuba files 
is for reduce the complexity of shuffle system itself and improve its stability. Second, the distributed file system itself has advantages of good stability, scalability, load balancing. Three, third is adapt to a variety of the distributed system tools, diversification and make full use of the advantage of different systems. Fourth is make shuffle worker decouple local storage capabilities. Separate storage and computing and make it easier to deploy it on the cloud. Let's introduce feature of flexible replication strategy used in Shuffle. The above figure is the deployment of three couples. The client and the subsystem are deployed independently. The following figure shows the deployment of a single copy. The client can choose to mix deployment with the subsystem, which will choose local priority storage and will not choose other nodes if there's sufficient space. In replica options, we can choose single replica, two, three replica. At the lower the number of replicas, the lower the all cost. Let's focus on single replica. So it reduces TCO and network traffic. Besides, it significantly reduced writing latency. The last page is about the roadmap of Cuba files. Uh, there are some, several important components and uh, de development. First is KubeKit, uh, structured storage for mobile applications or core device devices. Second is a HDFS protocol compatible. A direct use HDFS seamless to access Kubernetes without any modification. Three, automatic rename. Recoverable the middle status remained caused by the routines be interrupted by something happened in the distributed environment. And there are uh, two main releases we'll release later. First is the snapshot mentioned before. Second is uh, a usual coding code sub, uh, subsystem reconstruction, uh, reduce the count of components depend on. And it will be easily be deployment. Uh, thank you.